Oh boy. Um. Wow. I am. You'll never guess it. Uh uh. Well, everything is collapsing. I was gonna have my Bible study. I was gonna actually. Actually, this is a really incredible story. Just keep listening. I was gonna have my Bible study that I've been wanting to do for like a long time now, several weeks. And I had a little tantrum before I went, crying to God, saying, God, there's not gonna be anybody there. I'm having faith in you, but I keep on having faith in you, and everything keeps going wrong. I'm like, I don't understand. And he told me we face persecution, but he's got a great crown coming. And then we have to be as gentle as doves and wise as serpents. Never give us more than we can handle. Always give us the spirit to get through it. And, um, so my Bible study got canceled and my husband starts, well, see, this is what happened. We're like... We're going to the Bible study. I have somebody in the car, and every uh, things weren't going so good. They weren't, but um, I'm like, I'm still doing it, God. I know you're gonna come through. Please make people be there. I would be crushed if you didn't make people be there, God. And <laughs> lo and behold, what happens? My husband's body gets numb. Numb. Can't move. I mean, freaks out. Never ever says go to the hospital. Always puts his health behind him. But today, today, and my Bible study, like the, the thing that is actually means something more important to me than anything in this world that I've ever done. And um, he says, call the ambulance. So I do. And I'm glad he's getting the help, you know. I'm sure um, he needed that. So that's good. God turns ashes into beauty. And um, for some reason, God lets things keep happening. I think I understand why. It's to break me down because I have been crying and I have been so sad. But right now, I have a good spirit. And it's because of God. Glory to God. Because earlier, I was not good. But you know what? I think the Lord just um, wants us to lean on Him. 100% because we are in the wicked, wicked days. These are the end, end days. End of days. Jesus is coming in the clouds. This is literally Sodom and Gomorrah. We're living in Noah's day. We are living in the days before the Son of Man is revealed in the clouds. And these things I'm saying are coming from the Holy Spirit. Isn't that great? The Holy Spirit is real. The Holy Spirit is real. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Oh, this one's good. Look, God did this one. This is good. You guys need to hear about this, and I didn't know what else to say. Okay. Mark of the Beast. Government revelations. Oh man, the government, you know, they hate me for posting this. Oh yeah, they hate me for posting this. And they're watching us, but that's okay. Okay, listen, it's important. Let me spit this candy out. <clears throat> I love that candy, okay. And he causeth small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. Listen, I don't care where it is on your body, don't put anything in your body that is not from God. And that no man might buy or sell save that he has the mark of the name of the beast or the number of his name. If you get that mark, you're serving the government. The government is run by Satan. Satan's trying to be his own king here in this world. So that means you're like, okay, I'm on your side, Satan. And you're going straight to hell. Because there is only heaven and hell. There is nothing else. It's heaven and hell. It's very simple. 
Okay? It's really simple. Like, God, I mean, Satan wants you to think that there's all sorts of different ways to enter heaven through Buddhism and Hinduism and Muslims and all this other stuff. And don't you realize in all of those, it's so easy and mystifying with all the witchcraft that they do. But the truth is, if you don't do any of that and you just stay pure and you choose to, like, we're like, we're like little, it's like this. Okay, imagine this. I know, I know, I switched so quick like that. But listen, imagine that we were chess pieces on a checkers board. That's what this life is. But Satan, he hides that from you. But the Holy Spirit just revealed this to me. Well, it revealed it to me yesterday. Blessed be to glory to God. We are, we are chess pieces. Are you going to be a chess piece for the devil? Or are you going to be a chess piece for God? And if you choose to follow God, and you want him to be your Lord and Savior instead of the devil and the sin of the world, then you can have glory in heaven, a glorious heaven, perfect heaven without any pain or suffering or tears. But you have to come out of the sin of the world, and it's hard, and we can't do it by ourselves. That's why you have to ask Jesus Christ to come to your heart. Man, these people at the hospital, they are so freaking wicked. They were just mean. And just God kept them telling me inside, just be mean. I mean, yeah, I'm sorry. That was wrong. Be nice. Be nice. Be as gentle as a dove and as wise as a serpent. So I was gentle. Because that's what we live in now. We live in a sick world where, where evil evil is just abounding around us. I mean, when I went to the hospital, there was a guy that grabbed my face and nursed. He literally squeezed my face for no reason. He was sick and crazy. I mean, it's happening. People being abused by our police. By, I mean, I've had it happen to me. I mean, I had it happen again right now. They're just mean. But I was nice. And, you know, they didn't even want to bring me in the ambulance with my husband. They didn't even want me to sit by Angel when they were, like, um, doing a bunch of stupid stuff where they had, he had, like, 15 people around him, and they're, like, hooking him up with all the stuff, like, you know, this flesh doesn't matter. It's temporary. It's gonna perish. Maybe God will remake it. I think he does remake it from what I understand in the Bible, and I could understand that wrong, because I used to think it was just gonna be the spirit, but reading the Bible more, um, <laughs> I understand that it's more, like, spirit and flesh that God is going to remake all of it to perfection without the sin of the devil without the lust and the temptation of the devil but you have to choose to follow Jesus Christ he's the example he was perfect he lived a perfect life he was he healed people he showed humanity what it was to love we don't live in a world of love we live in a world of hate hate because this is what the media is stirring up and what are you guys are being brainwashed with. Oh, you guys must have read that already. Okay, I was going to read it, but... For he that soweth to his flesh shall the flesh reap corruption. I did not put these in order if this is making sense to you guys. This is just the Holy Spirit doing that. But he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting exactly this is what i was just saying see this is god's perfection he does this all the time for he that soweth his to his flesh okay so are you gonna go after the lusts of the world the fleshly things drinking drunkenness yeah i do marijuana but i really need it for medical purposes and if i didn't have it i would be crushed but god says just don't be drunk. I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot of controversy there. But anyways, I know the Bible well. And I know the Lord says it's okay for me to take marijuana. For he that soweth to his flesh shall the flesh reap corruption. And people are wicked because they're doing the things God says not to do. We're not supposed to live according to the lust of the flesh and the purses and the physical stuff and all that smelly perfume and the best incense and all that stupid stuff. It's about having the basic stuff. It's about being simple. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap 
life everlasting. You know, this is great. I didn't get to do my Bible study, but I'm getting to do it with you guys. Okay, this is a long video though. Come